it's Teresa with SmokingHotCigarChick.com. I wanted to wish you a happy Halloween and share with you how I'm enjoying this holiday. I decided to bring out one of my mini monster boxes. Uh, I've been going through all the cigars in here. I was really excited when it came out too. Uh, the Corona tends to be one of my preferred cigar sizes, so to have all the monsters in one box of mini form was really exciting to me. I've smoked through all of them. My favorite in the box has been the Mini Mum. Uh, this is, I've been smoking this before the release of the Mummy, so I still haven't smoked the Mummy. I have a couple uh, in my humidor that are ready. I think I'll probably be pulling out one of the official Mummies out tonight. Uh, but I really like the way it tasted in the Corona, so I'm curious to see how it's going to change uh, from the size. And I do expect to see it change with the size. So with the, uh, with the Corona, I wanted to start off the evening with this and then work my way to the Mummy and see directly, one after the other, what changes I notice. Uh, what I like about this particular cigar is uh, there's a bunch of what I would call autumny flavors. I get a lot of, uh, right away, like a white peppery note. Uh, I get a bunch of uh, woody notes, a lot of nut, like a hazelnutty, almondy kind of flavor. There's some kind of nut flavor going on, a little bit of a spice, but again, most of the white pepper and the woody and nutty notes is what stands out to me. Uh, it gets a little sweet there. There's a nice little sweetness in the aroma. Uh, I think it's great with the cool, crisp weather outside. Uh, it's a great, you know, well, I love Halloween, so the monsters always make me happy. But I really just enjoyed this cigar, and I'm happy to see it in the Corona. Produces a nice amount of smoke, not too much, a great aroma again. I really get that kind of spiciness in the nose. Uh, it's a slight spice. I wouldn't call it uh, like a lot of some. Well, some of Pete's stuff can be very peppery. I wouldn't call this cigar that way at all. Uh, the cedar notes kind of stand out in the, in the middle, and then I just get a little bit of that sweetness in the finish. Beautiful, beautiful cigar. If you haven't gotten one, if you can find them, I would highly encourage you to get some. Uh, I got a couple boxes, not a lot, but I've been going through them a little bit faster than I expected to this year. So. I'll have to slow down and save a box for next day to compare it to you. But, uh, I, so I'm looking forward to smoking the Mummy officially tonight. I'll have a write-up with some of my comparisons. Uh, if you've smoked both, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you prefer one size over the other. Uh, and if you have a preference in general for a certain Vitola too. I'd love to kind of hear your feedback and see what your thoughts are. Alright, well, I hope you're having a fun, happy Halloween. I'll be speaking with you soon. Take care. Bye.